My name is Todd Vieira, Vice President of Customer Engagements at BrainChip. Today we're going to be reviewing our AI Edge Box. Our AI Edge Box is the first production version of our Edge Box that has the Akita hardware built into it. So we are currently running several models on this AI Edge Box. The Edge Box has an M.2 card that is running inference on the edge in a very low power neuromorphic computation. As you can see, we have multiple cameras plugged into the edge box and we're running two models on top that's running a visual wake word. Visual wake word is an application where I can have a low power AI inference engine that is asleep, but when someone comes by, your edge box will wake up and then you can run another algorithm on it. So once a person is identified, it says someone is nearby. And that's on an always on application, so it notices someone's you know, nearby and I can start doing an AI inference. So in a security camera, you don't want your security camera to be on and do an AI the whole time. But when someone comes up, oh yeah, someone came up, now I can start running an AI application to determine who it is, maybe a package is being delivered, or it's a thief. So I'm looking for certain aspects. Those algorithms are meant to be very low power, small parameters, small memories, so that it is highly efficient edge-based computation. The bottom uh, two screens are basically using a YOLO application that's actually determining where the person is and putting a bounding box. You can see the bounding box around the person as they move over here and come over this way, Kurt. And you can see the bounding boxes once they identify people. One of the nice things about some of our smaller models, it allows you to be very efficient and I want to train it on a model that I could use on the edge where power and constraints are really hard to uh, um, meet for a demand on these edge-based computation engines. And you can reach us at www.brainchip.com or send us an email at sales at brainchip.com.